everyone. Welcome to the Springfield Township Board of Trustees meeting. It is August 13th, 2019 at approximately 5.30 p.m. Uh, Mr. Burning, may we please have the roll call? Yes, Mr. Burning? Present. Mr. Harlow? Present. Ms. McFarland will not be here. Uh, next, I would ask everyone to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The first thing that we have on our agenda this evening is approval of minutes of our regular work session on July 9th, 2019, and our regular work session July 23rd, 2019. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, next, Mr. Gilbert, or <clears throat> Mr. Burning, do we have our fiscal officer report? Yes, Mr. Hanalal. Um, for the month ending July 31st, 2019, the township expenditures were $1,987,795.39. And receipts were $501,133.55, giving us an ending cash balance of $18,051,348.70. These include the obligations, payroll expenditures, regular operating costs, ongoing capital improvement projects, and dividends investments. What I do require is a request is an update motion to approve the receipts warrants payroll expenditures updated and current revenues and reports for the period ending july 31st 2019 do i have a motion so moved seconded all those in favor aye, aye. motion carries and i just want to let everyone know financial reports are available at the township offices during regular business hours and on our website 24 7. thank you thank you mr burning Next, moving on to departmental action and discussion items. Mr. Gilbert, do we have the uh, administrator's report? We do. Thank you, Mr. Hernalal. The first action item, and actually the only action item I have on my report, would be a transfer agreement for the property at 9958 Hamilton Avenue. As the board is aware, this is a particular piece of property we've been working on for some time in conjunction with the land bank. It is a vacant bar on Hamilton Avenue uh, that went into foreclosure. We have subsequently actually previously acquired the piece of property that has the actual structure on it this particular parcel that we're referring to tonight is the parcel just adjacent to it that has uh, went through a, a similar but different process to get to us uh, through the lane bank so the action I'm asking for tonight in order to finalize uh, the acquisition of this property uh, from out of delinquency to the township would be uh, to authorize the administrator to sign a transfer agreement with the L Hamilton County Land Bank for the property at 9958 Hamilton Avenue. Okay. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, under discussion items, the Springfield Township Community Reinvestment Area 2 uh, is underway in terms of the process to have it, have it created. As the board is aware and as we've discussed for some time, there's a particular piece of property in the Pleasure Run Farms neighborhood, about 11 acres, that's currently owned by the Northwest School District that uh, was Welsh Elementary that has since been demolished and vacated as a part of their uh, facility master plan. They've moved that elementary um, off of that site. So now we have a vacant piece of property uh, in that area. We do have a developer that is interested in acquiring and developing that property with approximately 30 new homes. Uh, due to some of the development costs and as we've discussed <clears throat> in our previous creation of a CRA for uh, the southern area of Finneytown, we know that residential development in particular is uh, in most cases necessitates some sort of incentive to uh, allow the development to move forward. This particular case underlines uh, that, that necessity because with only 30 homes, there's not a lot of uh, and the ability to spread that infrastructure cost out amongst those different parcels. So they are looking for um, some property tax relief to allow that development to move forward. But at the same time, an assessment will be placed on those properties to then repay the cost of the infrastructure that will be needed in terms of building that public road for those 30 homes. 
that's a long way of saying the community reinvestment area will be the tool in which we're able to do uh, the, the property tax abatement and subsequently the assessment. Uh, Kathleen has worked with Hemlock County Development Company, who's the uh, administrative agency for the county that would administer the CRA zone for the township. Very similar, actually exact process that we went through and created the CRA 1 zone. So just to let you know, that is underway. There is a resolution, which is the first resolution on the agenda, ten the agenda tonight to uh, authorize the establishment of that CRA zone for their Pleasure Run Farms neighborhood. So you do have a, a map area outlined in that zone. Um, and unless there are any questions regarding that, again, you'll have a resolution uh, here later to begin actually create that, that zone. Additionally, um, looking at the, uh, the personnel update, we do have quite a bit of action. In the fire department, we had the resignation of Tyler Abatiello. I was a part-time medic firefighter. Uh, date of resignation was July, July 30th of 2019. We did have several new hires. Uh, Samuel Steigerwald as a part-time EMT firefighter. Patrick Clendining as a part-time EMT firefighter. Alexander Bath as a part-time EMT firefighter and Christian Miller as a part-time EMT firefighter. And police, uh, no activity in public works department. We did have the uh, seasonal laborers um, ending their work, which was Nate Stevens, Nicholas Smoker, Robert Ward, Kirsten Goldick, Sam Hennekamp, Peter Monick, Connor O'Brien. And in the senior center, we did have the resignation of Leanne Rom, building monitor, uh, date of resignation was June 29th of 19. And then in DART, we had the elimination of the position uh, for Steve Schmitz, which was an evidence technician that was uh, eliminated on August 1st of 2019. Next, I will turn it over to Kim for community events and programs. Thank you. Um, next week, uh, Arts Connect is running a Dine to Donate event, and it is a fundraiser for Winterfest over at the local Wings and Rings. It's all day on August the 22nd. And then on August the 23rd and 24th is our big art local art show down at Centennial Barn. We have 51 artists registered for that event, so um, approximately 150 pieces of art. And um, that event will take place on Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. and then on Saturday from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Um, then we'll move into September where we'll start our Beers and Gears event, which is a new beer garden program with an acoustic concert, Mad Tree Beer Truck, and um, a cruise in. And those events are on September the 13th, September the 27th, and October the 11th. One question. Sure. Is the dine to donate for lunch and dinner or just dinner? It is. It's for all day. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Mm -hmm. The board has copied of the departmental activity reports. And unless there are any questions of those, that concludes my report with one exception. When you get to the resolution portions, there is a resolution that would modify the schedule um, listing each street um, for parking prohibitions. We are modifying that to include a particular area on Aspen Hill that would restrict parking. We did send notification to residents directly affected by that prohibition. And so I would just ask when you get to that resolution, if you would entertain any comments from the public prior to the passage or consideration of that resolution. Okay, that's What's resolution that? number 74, 2019. Correct. Right. Then All that right. That concludes my report. All right, very good. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert. <clears throat> Uh, next, uh, moving on to resolutions this evening, we have resolution number 69, 2019, which is a resolution establishing Springfield Township Community Reinvestment Area 2. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanlon? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number 70, 2019, which is a supplemental appropriations within the general fund Police District Fund and the Fire District Fund. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanlon? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number 71, 2019, adopting the estimates and specifications reported by the county engineer for improvement to Cavalier Drive and Christopher Drive 
approving and confirming the assessments for such improvement in ordering that the improvement proceed. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelo? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number 72, 2019, adopting the estimates and specifications reported by the county engineer for improvement to Lux Avenue in Beach Ridge Drive, approving and confirming the assessments for such improvement and ordering that the improvement proceed. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelow? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number 73, 2019, determining necessity for road improvements pursuant to revised code section 5573.01 on Pine Hollow Lane, Fernwell Drive, and Foxcross Drive, and authorizing statutory actions required for such improvements. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Burney. Aye. Mr. Hanelow. Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we come to resolution number 74, 2019, which is a resolution modifying the schedule listing each street on which parking is prohibited or restricted within Springfield Township is required by section 302.2 of the Springfield Township parking regulations. And um, uh, based on Mr. Gilbert's uh, comments, this was that there is an amendment for a portion of Aspen Hill Drive. Is that correct, Mr. Gilbert? Correct. Mike, do you, you want to comment on exactly what? The only thing I want to add, this also includes Lockbourne Drive. So um, we've received a couple complaints, Chief Browder and I, concerning some site distance issues there at the intersection of Aspen Hill and Mill and Lockbourne and Mill. Uh, residents have events or what have you people are parking right there near that intersection and given the traffic volume on Mill Road they're having issues pulling out and they find it to be dangerous when approaching that intersection so they've asked us Chief Browder and I have both looked at it um, to make a recommendation to you that we post no parking in for those two streets um, Chief Browder and I agreed upon that it, probably a distance of 85 feet from the intersection of Mill, Mill for Aspen Hill and Lockbourne Drive, we'll take care of removing the hazard and any issues moving forward. Okay. All right. And um, I would ask at this time, is there anyone here in the audience that has any comments or concerns regarding this resolution? We'll let the record reflect that there is there is no one. Um, and Laura, that's it's it's okay to amend this thing. Yeah, the way we set it up, if you recall, it was 2012, we, it, rather than amending our entire parking resolution, which is a large document, we set up a procedure where we could just amend, amend the schedule. So although this seems like a long document, it is not mm. compared to what we used to do. So this is the appropriate way to do it, and we then we have all the proper notices. And it, it, we had some issue about whether we just wanted to add these two new streets, but technically it's a schedule, so it's one item, so it should be done as one item. We so call it legalese. We call it technical <laughs> legalese, so. but we definitely want anyone who's going to suffer an adverse effect by parking incorrectly to have adequate notice that they are doing so before they park, so, okay. so that's what we are doing here. So All right. This is the absolute perfect way to do this. All right. Thank you, Laura. Um, with that, then, do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelow? Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have resolution number 75, 2019, declaring nuisances pursuant to Ohio Revised Code section 505.87 at various listed properties within Springfield Township in authorizing statutory actions necessary to abate the nuisances. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelow? Aye. Resolution carries. And finally, we have resolution number 76, 2019, establishing assessment for abatement of nuisance and certifying the same to the Hamilton County Auditor. Do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. Mr. Burney? Aye. Mr. Hanelow? Aye. Resolution carries. Uh, and now we come to the part of our meeting. Uh, well, first of all, do we have any old business, Mr. Burning? I do not. 
I don't uh, have any new business either. Okay, thank you. Um, with that then, we will move to citizens' participation this evening. If there's anyone here that would like to address the board, we would ask that you come up to the podium, state your name and address for the record, and um, we'll listen to what you have to say. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Glenda Smith, and I live at 30 Vermont Avenue, right down the hill. Vermont? Off of the pike, yes, mm -hmm. Vermont Avenue. Um, and I'm here as co-host of 88.3 FM, I hear you as Wave radio station. Uh, the program that I'm co-host of is I Hear You, which is family-oriented, children-centered um, station. I'm here to invite Springfield Township um, administrators and or um, trustees to talk about any programs that support and promote healthy families and children in your community. And you can talk about that on the program or you can send me information. Um, here's my contact information. I know Kim is, seems you. like she's got a lot going on <laughs> in that regard. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. I'll take one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, my son just brought a house in Springfield Township. Uh -huh. I am very surprised at how big it is. His house is off of how big Springfield Township. Oh, not his house. <laughs> 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 Pleasure Run Farm. I was like, wow, Springfield Township's way out here? We, we go all the way from Butler County, Fairfield to the north, to uh, all the way over to... Um, By I-75 and Paddock Road, yeah, yeah. down to Vine Street, which yeah. next to right along where Wyoming is, the market down there is in Springfield Township. Yes. There's actually a part of Springfield Township that's on the east side of I-75. Yeah, Edgemont. Now, I'm not aware of that. I, I know you guys are being around uh, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. I knew that. Well, and I, West, I shop over here. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. Next to College Hill, there's a little area there called West College Hill that's part of the township. Wow. Right off North Bend and Simpson there. You must be doing a very good job. I don't <laughs> see any problems. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, thank you very much, and we'll, we will get in touch with you. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else that would like to address the board this evening? Any comments, concerns, anything? Okay. It appears that there is not. Um, is there any more business before the board? Not by me. Um, do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? We do. So moved. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is adjourned.